So we're standing in front of the Sacred Springs of Delphi, otherwise known as the Castalian Springs. Um, and all visitors to Delphi, be it religious people, athletes, whatever, would stop here and wash before they came into Delphi. And it mostly entailed washing their hair, which is pretty interesting. Um, and especially before they would come to consult the oracle, they would have to wash here. Um, and also before the Pythian Games. The Pythian Games are one of the four Pan-Hellenic Games, so they're held every four years. It's kind of like the Olympics. And the, so the water flows from here down into the gymnasium where the athletes train, and they would use it like to shower before um, the games and stuff. Um, and some mythology states that Apollo killed um, a py python, which is a monster, around here, and it was guarding the spring, and he killed it. And so these are why, that's why it's called the Sacred Springs. Um, so Pythia, who's the priestess up at that we saw up in the Oracle, um, she also purified here, and um, poets would come here, like Lord Byron. It's stated that he came here to to get inspiration. And um, like I mentioned, it's also referred to as the Castalian Springs. Um, and then there's two fat. There were two like major fountains that were fed by the spring. Um, so I'll talk a little bit about those that were excavated. So the first one was the Archaic Fountain, and it was built around the sixth century BCE, I believe. Um, and the basin was lined in marble, so it's pretty fancy. And um, it was fed by a short aqueduct, and then it had like a lion head at the spot. So that's how you could tell. And then there was also the Roman fountain, which was built later um, in the first century BC. And it had spaces for votive offerings to nymph Castalia, which are the holes you see back there. Um, and so uh, Castalia like, is why it's also called the Castalian Spring. Um, so she was said to be transformed into a fountain um, or the spring maybe by Apollo. Um, so that's the name. And uh, the nymph is also the stated inspiration, like reason that poets would be inspired here. So like she was sort of uh, related to poetry. Um, and the site was excavated in 1878 and then again in 1960 by Greek archaeologists because one of the fountains was lower and one of the fountains was higher, so they sort of made their way to that. Okay, great. Thanks.